Corn School is brought to you by BASF and Pride Seeds. So it's 2018, Western Maine Cut Room has been here in Ontario for 10 years and we've learned a lot. The most important thing is then learning through the trap network. So just last year we had 650 um, trap locations from Michigan, Ontario and Quebec. Um, now this year we also have Manit Manitoba and some of the maritime provinces, Nova Scotia and PI joining us. Why is it important? You put a trap up so that you know on a regional basis and within the field if the western bean cutworm moths are flying around and potentially laying eggs. So, you know, this is, it's not too late to put up a trap. If you don't have one, you, you can contact us for, uh, to know where supplies are. But if you do, you know, put it up on the prevailing wind side, um, a meter from the ground and monitor. You can do it as early as June, but really needs to be up by about the end of June um, to see peak flight. The importance of knowing uh, and having such a big trap network has allowed us to observe peak flight from Michigan, each county progressing from west to east and, and um, south to north uh, this moth and when, it, when you need to get in and, and scout. So peak flight means the majority of the moths are flying around, therefore they're in your field mating. Within a week you'll have eggs. So that's when you need to go in and especially, most importantly, um, those fields that are outside of the known hotspot regions because this pest is no longer just in the hotspots. It's across the province and going as far as Nova Scotia and PEI now. So it, it's something that needs to be monitored each field um, to know what's going on in your location. This is the old school trap we uh, used to rely on when it first came. The old cheap milk jug trap where you cut out the windows and put in the antifreeze. Pain in the butt, not reliable, and we have certainly moved on to new technology since then. So this bucket trap is now what we rely on in 2018. It's a universal bucket trap, all green, um, about $20 a trap, which can last you for at least 10 years. You just end up putting the lure in the top cage and a kill strip in the bottom of the bucket. And you only have to check this trap once a week maybe twice once you approach uh, peak flight just because you can get quite a lot of moths in there and they start brushing each other and you lose uh, their scales and, and how to ID them. But again, a meter from the ground, um, trap goes up end of June at the latest and you just monitor till, until August when uh, peak flight has passed in your region. Um, really cheap investment, especially for a pest that is a primary pest across the province now. We'll